Everybody needs to know that for a woman to get pregnant, the sperm cells must meet the egg in the fallopian tubes. So a woman has two fallopian tubes, one on the right, one on the left, and two ovaries. If any of these tubes is blocked, then a woman can use the remaining one to get pregnant. So let me tell you something. If you get a result, maybe you have a problem with your tubes. They said one of the tubes is blocked. That problem is not too much because you still have one tube to get pregnant. But the challenge is that tube that is remaining. The ovary attached to that tube must produce and mature and release the egg every month. That means somebody needs to check your follicular tracking very well and monitor you. Let's assume that two tubes are blocked. It means people like me will suggest that go and do hydrotubation. If you do hydrotubation, it does not guarantee that as soon as you do that hydrotubation, the tubes are open. To me, if you do hydrotubation and you try IUI once and you do not get pregnant, you try IUI second, you do not get pregnant, go back, go and repeat the HSD to confirm if the tube that they claim it has opened after the hydrotubation is actually open. Don't forget, blood fallopian tubes is different from hydrosapiens. Hydrosapiens is a problem of the tube, which means the finger-like end of the fallopian tubes are not working. And this is the end that the tubes use to take the egg and push it inside the tube. If that is the problem, hydrotubation also will be a choice treatment. But if you are not ready to confirm with HSG that whether the tubes have been opened or the atrosapiens have been cleared, do not bother yourself to do adotubation because it's a blind treatment. What is the option you have? That means you need to talk to a professional that you will do IVF. If it is hydrosapiens, that tubes must be removed before you do IVF because the fluid from that tubes will kill the embryo. Fallopian tube is very, very important for any person to get pregnant. My name is Wojo Adeka in this summer. I'm the fertility scientist at Tabin's Fertility and Andology. Till I come your way next time, God is good. Bye.